Uh, Bishop Brad is here to receive Lerma, who will be received into membership in the Anglican Church later on. Uh, Lerma has selflessly volunteered to serve as our treasurer on council, uh, which requires her to be a part of the church. Bishop Brad, uh, many of us here haven't had much to do with the Anglican Church uh, up until joining Grasslands. Um, could you give a bit of context around um, you know, the structure of the church and how that facilitates and helps local congregations? In broad terms, uh, the Anglican Church is structured in such a way that it's uh, highly dispersed, so into local communities. So. I like to think of us uh, as being aspiring as a church to have a presence in every local community, and that will be different things in different contexts. Often it's the uh, Blue Stone Church with a lovely big steeple that you see, especially in the inner suburbs of Melbourne. Often that will be an Anglican church or in country towns. Uh, we're usually present in that form, but we're also present in many other ways through schools, hospitals, aged care facilities. Uh, and through new expressions of church, just like this one. So we have a number of congregations, especially in the area that I look after now, meeting in places like this. One in a football club, one meets outdoors, others in community centres and so on. So you know, we're, we're highly localised and as a church, as a whole, we seek to serve the local community to the best of our ability, depending uh, on its own context. In ter terms of structure, the Archbishop is the head of our church, uh, other than, of course, our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the head of the church. The Archbishop is the leader of the diocese, but because our diocese is so large, he has four other bishops who assist him, and three of us have geographical areas of responsibility. Uh, and then, of course, we have our local leaders, who are the uh, some 205 local expressions. 205. Around about. Mm. How many of those would you look after? About 65. Bishop Brad, you are in the unique position of, as you said before, being able to spend uh, a, each Sunday in a different place and a different expression of what the church looks like. Yeah. Uh, what are you seeing God do that excites you when you think about the future? Thank you. It's a very, it's a very diverse experience, a different church every Sunday, and some are highly traditional, uh, some are not, and everything in between. Um, there's some wonderful things happening that we, do, we don't see because you don't do what I do and go to a different church every Sunday. So I see what's happening, for instance, at Wigan in Geelong, which is a very un under-resourced uh, demographic in, in that city, where City on a Hill, one of our great church congregations, have begun a ministry there that's really reaching the people who live in that community uh, in, a, in a really profound way. So it's quite moving to see. Uh, so you know, that's one expression of church. Everywhere I go, there are very faithful people meeting uh, in Christ's name and doing their very best to, to serve our Lord as disciples and to reach their local community. They may be small, 20 in number, or they may be very large. And I have some parishes that are around 300 Sunday attendants, but they're all doing their best to serve our Lord in different ways in their own context. And, you know, the, my, my experience has been the church and our expression of it in the Anglican Church is alive and, and very well. Yeah. Thanks, Bishop Brad, for that sure. context and for sharing the things that you've seen. Um, we have other business. Bishop Brad is also here to receive Lerma into uh, membership in the Anglican Church. So Lerma, um, would you like to come up and bring your sheet as well? Um, great. Well, let me present uh, Lerma to you, Bishop Brad. Uh, Lerma has been baptised and has been formally a um, communicant member of the Australian Christian Churches. She now asks to be received into communicant membership of the Anglican Church of Australia and seeks our prayers in the fellowship of this parish. Thank you. Then I have two questions then for Lerma as she comes to be received uh, into formal communicant membership of the Anglican Church of Australia. Loma, do you stand by the Christian confession and commitment made at your baptism? Yes, I do. Do you now desire to be admitted into communicant membership of the Anglican Church of Australia and accept her doctrine and order? I do. 
Lerma, we recognise you as a baptised and communicant member of the Christian Church. Together, we receive and welcome you into the communion of the Anglican Church. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. God of wisdom and love, source of all good, by your Holy Spirit, strengthen your servant, Lerma, and guide her in your way of peace and love. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. Burma, may the Holy Spirit direct and uphold you in the service of Christ and his kingdom, in the fellowship of this church. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, bless, preserve, and keep you. Amen. Amen. all new to me um, to be received in the Anglican Church. Um, wasn't expecting it at all. Um, John told me about Wednesday last week and I was just like, I heard of it from the other church, from the Inner West Church. But um, to be here in the new venue, mm. it's, it's just add a blessing. It just happened to be like when I was baptized, we moved to a new church and I said, once we moved to this beautiful church, I'm ready to be baptized. And now we are here in the new venue. And then I'm receiving. By Bishop. Ben. And thank you, everyone. It's a big job. I'm not going to deny it. It's not just Grassland Church. I was surprised. I didn't sign up for Inner West Church. But when I went for the handover, no, Lerma, you have to do the two churches the Inner West and the Grassland Church. So I'm not, I'm there. I'm I'm learning every day, and but I'm 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 glad that my experience in the 25 years in public service in the tax office is now now I'm I'm working more or less on my line of on line of my expertise and a line of my career. So my career has to move on, and now I'm serving God. Thank you. Thank you. I think where people could use their gifts to bless God's church as you are in this uh, important role. Uh, I mean, God, we give you thanks for your people meeting here in this place. We give you thanks for the provision of this place in which you meet and for those who have been able to arrange for that with John and with others. Thank you that resolution to place in which to meet was made quickly. But we know too that the church is your people, the people who are here and those who perhaps are not here. Take us and use us, we pray, that each of us may find a place where our gifts, talents and abilities can be used for the good of your church. And most of all, we pray, enable us to reach the community around us with the good news of your Son, Jesus Christ. And so I ask now, Lord, you will bless this uh, meeting place, its people, its leaders, in the name of the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen.